Hey, love bugs, it's Roz, I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for, you know, taking time out for yourself, seeing the things you weren't able to see before. You know, we're going all through these different changes and diff different shifts and being able to bring some positive energy towards our crazy journey so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video and if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you just up tell me about your impact the gift how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you uh are if you feel like the videos have given you good vibes or good information that you would love to share with the loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath or girl really going through some trying times right now and need confirmation and validations towards you know their journey and they're in, really in a dark place please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and once again thank you so much for the love and support it's so greatly appreciated and i love y'all from the bottom of my heart and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today my video uh, med my meditation for my video is called free yourself from evil eye purify and cleanse yourself very powerful against negative forces and it is fit so 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 good with the, with the content of my video today and plus it, this gives me a peaceful euphoric feeling it makes me feel like i'm on cloud nine and so if you feel like you floating a little bit is releasing a lot of heaviness that you know we carry around on a daily basis so, you know, you might really want to, you know, meditate towards this on your own private time. But I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's being so focused on your glow-ups. No longer worried about people plotting. We do. You know what I mean? You could be going towards stuff and, you know, people be, might be jealous of the situations that we're heading towards. Trust me, I've, I've had that experience a lot. I mean, it's like... Through this journey has been really eye-opening you really get to see people for what they really are and you know and it's just like you've been through stuff but it just seems probably since your spiritual awakening you are really getting a raw uncut about how truly people are you know because there i mean there's times i've seen people they're like oh all i'll all I do is push good intentions out good intentions and it's just being with us being hey okas we tend to spew out people's insecurities about themselves and I, i've seen it a lot on this journey i had people coming at me towards here and you know and i, I love the fact that you know my love bugs got my back and they, you know they said other things when people say stuff and you know i'm like hey it is what it is certain things i won't even engage in putting on my on, on my comments because i always review my comments before they come out because there are some you know some jackasses that come towards me and there are certain things you know i'll put out there and you know not for people get attacked or anything like that but you have your you have your opinion but if there's a difference between you having an opinion and trying to be nasty nicety about it and i'm gonna let you get it because it's just like you know if you could be doing that but i'm allow you to do that to a certain extent you know because some people who want to second guess you or whatever they they get jealous of the fact of what you're doing you know i've had a lot of people be that way towards me and i also had a lot of people they commend me for what I do. That are happy for me. They're, you know, rooting for me. Like, Rosalyn, I really want to see you happy. I really want to see you succeed. And that's just like I am regardless of anybody, you know, because I feel like, you know, everybody carries a little insecurity about certain things towards themselves. But you don't have to push that out on people. You know, you have to be focused on the things that you're doing. You know, you, you there's something that you really truly want in life for yourself. You want to better yourself, whether you have children that you're trying to better your life for you and your children. You know, you, you have a family that you're trying to support. So you're trying to get yourself on that better career, you know, be better lifetime. You know, it's not being at a job that you're just there because it pays good. Because if you're at a job that pays good, but you still, still like dread to go there each and every day, that's not for you. <laughs> that is not for you You're supposed to be able to enjoy life whether whether you're in a career that's why i love what i do because this is what i want to do you know i want to be a motivational speaker I want to be able to help other people that are dealing with 
spiritually inclined energies. That's why I like to, you know, put it in a professional thing. We, we deal with some spiritually inclined vibes. You know, being able to be able to help people that are spiritually challenged at that time. Not saying, you know, you're special or anything like that. You're special, but you're not special. You know, like uh, special needs or anything like that. But I'm saying you're spiritually inclined because it's a scary situation. You know, I've said this many a times, but there's some new people coming towards me. So it's like, it's a scary situation if you're going through, you know, a, a awakening and you have to go through something very traumatic, very, you know, where it's smack in your face for you to know, oh, these are these things that are happening. Either, you know, your, your spiritual awakening could be you becoming homeless, you're going through a divorce, going through a major breakup, uh, you lose a loved one, you know you know, lose a job. It needs you to go through something very traumatic for you to be able to focus yourself and like, hey, there's something very different about me. Or you always notice that, you know, about yourself, but you never really could put your finger on it. And this is that time where universe saying, okay, this is that time. Let me go ahead and put this in their life right about now. But when you're so focused on things like that, you have insecure people coming towards you. The devil and darkness will bring folks towards you. That will challenge you all the time. But it's just the fact that you have to be careful what you put out there. And I had to learn that the hard way. You have to be careful of the things you talk about. You never let the left hand do what the right hand do. And there is people that's been in my life. And I can say, oh, I had a vision about this. And we could be having a deep conversation about, it. oh, Rosalind, what you have a, you know, uh, a vision about? And it will be purposely praying the fact that that wouldn't happen for me. Even though I, you know, I did, uh, you know, protection spells for them, you know, um, you know, good fortune coming their way, and light candles and did spells for them. But they don't realize when I'm doing that for them, they're messing their own self up. It's like you want these good things to happen for you in your life, but they don't know what gift I have for myself. When you wish something bad on me, something is going to really jack yourself up when you're wishing something won't happen for me. And I, I said, I put that out there because there's people that watching my videos when they know they don't have good intentions for me. And I have to tell them, you have to be very careful about what you pray for. Because when you're praying for people not to have good fortune, you, you don't know you're just cutting the head off your own snake for yourself. And then you wonder why these jacked up things are happening for you. Remember what you what you did this such and such okay well yeah we make sure they didn't have it but look at what you don't have either you have you end up repelling your own blessings just because you're hating on that next person that doesn't have that and people don't fairly realize that i don't wish nothing on anybody because i feel like if you're doing some evil towards somebody it, you won't get that coming back to you the long way anyway it might not happen today it might not happen tomorrow i've had people that prayed against certain things about me in my life and then they end up losing a job they lost their home you know they almost got the kids taken away you know they went through it the worst kind of way with their relationship and then they wonder why why these things happen towards them look at all the things you and then i'm starting to get visions about you trying to hold me back you know i've had people like that i'm like ah, oh, stay the heck away from me you know especially if i did nothing but good to you i've had people do that to me and it's just like when you're so I, I now it's just like i don't even focus on that because if i get a good if i get a vibe about you i'm gonna go with my instinct i'll just press on and keep doing me don't even allow myself to engage with you like that no more either you're gonna be for me or you're gonna be against me but right now i'm so you know focused on me right now i ain't gonna even worry about that because i'm gonna let universe work itself out for that and you need to do the same thing for yourself being able to you so focused on your glow up you ain't got time to be worried about somebody plotting on you because it's at that time where you when you start worrying about what people are trying to get against you if you're not allowing them to come in your life like that or you know they keep on seeing you do stuff you intim you know there's a lot of people i intimidate and i'm not trying to do that but i'm not gonna stop doing what i'm doing you know people are like oh rosin you shouldn't put that in youtube for what why not it's helping a lot of people regardless on you know because it's just like people say oh you shouldn't tell about your life story my life story has really put me on platforms to help a, a lot of people. Why would I not want to help a lot of people that are going through trying times? And they need to know, this is what I went through and this is what I'm coming up from. You know, so it's just like when I know this is what I want in my life and I know I'm doing so much good and pushing out a lot of positive vibes for that, being able to help people see things within themselves they weren't able to see before or take notice that certain things are happening in their lives and they're like going crazy. 
and thinking like, oh my God, I'm losing my mind. My world's falling apart. But there's times our world has to fall apart for it to come back together on the way it's supposed to be in the first place. You know, it took us to have to fall apart for us to generally be exactly how we're supposed to be. You know, you have to be able to get that strength from a painful traumatic situation. You'd be able to get that wisdom from a painful traumatic situation. Being able to say, you know what, this is what I want in my life. You know, you'll get fired from a job for the most simplest thing. And I tell people real quick, you're like, well, so I just lost my job. I take question. Was this a job that you wanted in the first place? Well, no. Okay. That's all you had to say. Because obviously the universe seen that you weren't happy and they already knew. Okay, well, we're going to give them enough time for them to be able to to get what they need to get out of this job but then we're going to make something pop off in their life the way they can get away from that job because in a way you'll be kind of relieved but then you'll be scared like Rosa, how am i make up my bills how am i going to pay for this universe is going to allow certain things to work off you know certain things you might have to go through for like a week or two or maybe even a month but have faith in the universe they're not going to leave you out there to the point where you know you're going to be out there high and dry that's not about to happen but you know certain situations have to occur for good blessings to be able to come in you have to be able to understand that but be focused on yourself don't be worrying about these daggone riffraffs that's out in the street trying to block your flow because you allow somebody you entertain them fools and you be become a fool right on in it don't join a circus look trying to deal with some clowns you can't do that because it's like i've seen people that think that they're close to me and they want me to oh rosalyn if you ever need anything come up no I'm not about to do that. I'll let it work its own self out. Because there's times where I need to talk to people. People over talk me, over talk me, over talk me. I said, you know what? I'm going to let you do you. Because obviously you, you can't be having time for me if I can't come up and tell you nothing if you keep talking over me. So I just deal with my stuff on my own. But you know, I, you know, it's just like, you know, my friends, even the ones that are really not around me, they're just like, Rosa, who do you talk to? Who you go? I talk to myself. I talk to my dad. <laughs> he's metaphorically here I talk to him I talk to God sometimes you have to go to the universe before you go to anybody else and that's what you should do because a lot of people ain't gonna give you the right advice especially if they see that you're gonna come up winning and they don't want you to win so of course they might tell you some mess is gonna jack you up the long way take it to the universe first you meditate on that mess first like if people come to me I'm gonna keep it real with you I really keep it real with you. I say, hey, pay attention to this. I'm not going to, because I'm that type of person. I feel like everybody should be able to win. Everybody deserves a come up. I'm not going to hate on nobody because that's your journey. This is my journey. You can't get mad at certain things that comes into my life because this is what happens for me. This is what universe had for me. And just like universe got something for you. So it's just like, you know, I can't pay attention to other people in their journey. Even though sometimes I'm like, God, when is mine going to come up? I have to be patient. Those folks had to be patient too. You never know how long it took them to get on that come up. You never knew what they had to sacrifice and get to where they got to get the stuff that they have in their life. And a lot of times we fail to realize that. We become upset and fascinated on somebody else's come up. We ain't paying attention to ours. But if you're paying attention to yours, you ain't going to have time to be worried about what's going on over there with Bob, what's going on over there with Sally and Sam and all that stuff. You work on you. Stay focused on you to where you're not even worried about who plotting against you. Because at that time, certain things had to go off in your life where people are prey upon things. They can make stuff slow down. Okay, and I have to tell people that people don't pray about stuff on me for so long. It can you can allow it to slow down, but it will not stop. You can't make you can't stop nothing that wasn't <laughs> that wasn't even meant for for you know for you to be able to stop. You know, and people fail to realize when you stop people's flow like that, you don't know that you're cutting blessings off on yourself when you do that. So you got to be very careful about what you plot against somebody. People like, yeah, whatever. Okay, you ain't got to believe it. But when things ain't starting to work out for the things you really want, remember when you sit up here and cast judgment on somebody else on their flow. So that's why I'm just like, even when certain folks do stuff to me, I say, I pray you get whatever God's supposed to give you to deserve. I, that's all I got to give. God bless you. And whatever happens towards you, that's between you, God, and the universe. I ain't got time. You know, so you keep working on you. You be so focused on worried about you ain't going to be worried about nobody else plotting on you. Because what's for you is for you. And whatever door that opens for you, nobody ain't going to be able to check. Remember that. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. Y'all ain't trying to preach, but hey, you know, sometimes we got to hear it, got to hear it, to be able to get that energy on ourselves to say, never know more. You're going to do you and keep doing you. Keep shining and keep pushing out that positivity. And granted, the blessings are going to come for you. 
So I'm not going to uh, do all the shout out and everything on this video because I noticed this is going to be almost close to 15 minutes. So that means it's going to be three days to upload. So I will talk to you on my, my next video. Much love. Peace. Be wise.